Do you eat <laughs> <laughs> DMs, dating apps, I don't have time for that. I don't believe you should kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. I believe in grilling them. I'm gonna be going on a series of dates to find who can really wow me. This is grilling. Well, my name is Christopher Savage. I'm a personal trainer and a stand-up comedian. So I'm funny and I'm fit. All I get is side things and I've, I've fed up with them. See, the best thing about women is People in general, you gotta ask them about themselves. And then they start talking shit about themselves, and then they feel that you're interested. Even though you are, I am generally interested. Bleep that. So I don't really like stuck up women, that's not my thing, you know what I mean? Prudish. I like, well, that's why I like the grilling, because I'm a griller. I will grill a girl, and I hope that she can take the grilling that I'm gonna give her too, you know what I mean? I'm ready, I'm ready. No gag can test me. Hello, love. You all right? Hello. Snow? Stand up, man. Give me a hug and a kiss. No, Come. it's too soon. Sit down. Ross Club. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you got me a drink, though. Yeah, cheers. But that ain't that too soon, because you don't know what I drink. Well, we drink wine. OK, well, fine. Well, all right. You, you're in charge today. How are yeah. you? I'm great, thank you. And How are you? I'm all right. Just and your name is? Uh, Cheyenne. No, it's rude to keep a lady waiting, right? You think so? How long, how long was you waiting for? Long enough. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're tough like that? Are you always going to be late? You know what? My life is quite a busy life. I try to have things on time, but so I guess late. certain things are just... You can't predict time sometimes. You're always late in life. Do you know what you are, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> you're a lovely woman, but you're, nice. you're trying to be all hard on me. Let's soften no, up. No, this is me being nice. No, you're not. It soften is. up oh, on right. me. Soften up. I've, soften I've just up. come. I'm just trying to like you here. Oh. Do you deserve it? Yeah, I'm trying to like you because you've got a pretty phys physical structure. Which That's I, nice. you, you look like a singer. Have you are, you? are you on social media? Do you sing? No, I don't sing. Really? No. You've got that look, though. You've got a no. real beautiful look. So I just want the personality to match that look. That's, beautiful. That's nice. Sweet talk. Feel like we've got you everywhere, Chris. Do you have a big dick? Do you know what? Yeah, depends on what how big you mean. Because so small then? Wait, 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 yeah, let me explain. You can say what a big dick is. However, a big dick to you might be small to you because your pom pom might be big. She asked me how big my dick was. You know? But that, I don't mind that because that means that she's up for the beating. So is your dick big? It depends, it's fun size. What's fu fun size, that's small. Though. Fun size is when you can get <laughs> and have fun with it and still enjoy it without feeling pure pain up in your ovaries like you might not have no children. Is that the type of big dick you're talking about? The no big? children. Just up your big? ovaries. How big is your dick? Women yes. do like to talk about men's penis, but they never ever seem to look at their vaginas. Why is that? Why? What, what are you, an innie or an outie? You can't ask me questions. Okay, sorry, I was asking But if the dick goes well, who knows? So you don't know if you're an outie? You don't like when it, <laughs> when it, when it falls out. <laughs> <laughs> and it drags along the floor <laughs> like a bike. No, we're not here to discriminate women. <laughs> What's wrong with women's vaginas? Some of them look horrible. It's like how you think some dicks are uh, shallow. Ain't it shallow you asking me about the size of my penis? No. What about my personality? But it's weird how when girls always talk about how big's your dick and then you ask them how big's their pussy, they get vexed. But I want to know whether I'm going to fall in your pum pum or not. Whether I'm going to end up in Narnia. You no. seem alright. You seem like a nice guy. Really? You think so? Yeah, seem, oh, seem, good. seem, seem. Oh, that's good. Seem. Cheers. So I'm done with men wasting my time. Right. Yeah. Why? Yeah. What happened to you? Well, what happened to me? It's just men like you. You're tiring. Waste my time. Like me. You come with just their chat. Right. You know, it's, it's, we're just starting. So we're just saying you, we we could progress. We could. Yeah, that's what saying? I'm saying. You've just assumed. You've just stereotyped me straight away. I oh, know, but this is why I'm trying to date. Do you think you can impress me? I think so. But you it, think so? It depends on you, though, as well. Is you've it? got to be able to open up and let me in. I can open up. Not sexually, though. Right that's now. fine. I'm just talking about you opening up and let me in. Just relaxing. Don't relax. Allow me to be me. Then. So is this you? <laughs> yeah. I, I never change who I am. You for anyone. Change. For anyone. No. That's good. Would you say you're confident, ma'am? I would like to say so, yes. Yeah, what makes you a confident man? If I have things together. Yeah, like what? It's my own place. I, 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 have my, I, I make 
decent money. How much is decent money? I don't, I don't get paid a certain amount each month. Okay, but I know that then. when I get paid, it's decent. Yeah, what's decent? Your decent could be different to my decent. I have enough to pay for my bills. I've, I've already paid off for my car and I have my own, uh, own place. I live by myself. I have no children. Do you want I'm, children? Of course. How many? Depends on the person. Mm. Would you say you're a family guy? I could be, depending on whether it's the right woman or not. Right, well, have you ever cheated? Tell the truth. I cheated on my second girlfriend, but Why? that's because she cheated on me. It was childish. It yeah, was that's immature. Petty. Yeah, I admit. But sometimes in life, you grow, you mm -hmm. change, you look at certain things and you say, oh God, was I like that then? Tell me, I bet you your first boyfriend, compared to the boyfriend you, you, you're with, you were previously with, I bet you've changed so much, innit? Yeah, of course, but I'd never exactly. cheat. Exactly. Cheating's still wrong though, no? She cheated on me first though. And me as a child, immature, so said, child. no, I, I, I'm talking about back then. Me as a child back then was like, you know what, she cheated on me, so I'm gonna cheat on her. But then after that, I didn't cheat on any other girls. She deserved it, I felt no, at the time. No, nobody deserves cheating. Oh, come on, darling. So if your man cheats on you, tell me you're not no, going to say... No, but I'm not going to be petty and cheat back. I really? Like, yeah, I feel like that's hella toxic. You know? Back then, yeah. I respected the fact that he was honest about cheating in the past. However, I don't know if he was just telling me what I wanted to hear. So, now, so what, so I would you, say... So is that, is that how you do it if someone does you wrong? You just want to get revenge? That was almost like 15 years ago. 15 years ago. So you're telling me a man can't change? Yeah, of course he can. That's what I'm of saying. Can. So you're a changed man? Of course. I really rated his honesty, and I do believe that men can change, you know, they, they mature, they grow up. What makes you different from all the other men I've dated? I don't know what the other men were like, but I know what I'm like, so I can tell you what I'm like. The reason why I'm different, because I'm very attentive. I understand. Just late though? Yeah, just a bit late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every now and then. A man can't be perfect, and I'm sure you're not perfect. Are you? I'm pretty close. Oh, wow. See, that's arrogance we can't deal with. <laughs> it's not so arrogance, you're arrogant. it's confidence. You're arrogant, no, isn't it? You're arrogant. No. I can see it in your face. No, you're arrogant. Difference. You said you're pretty close to perfect. Yeah. That's arrogant. In my opinion, no. Oh, wow. She says she's pretty close to perfect. You say that's arrogance, but I think really she's not arrogant, but she's just saying that it's like a, it's like a defense thing. I don't think she's arrogant, really. Yeah, I think she's just trying to disguise. She's a softie. Because okay. you're talking about perfection on the whole, aren't you, babe? Did you just babe me? Maybe I did, yes. Um, Arrogance well, get the word babe from me. It's not that I don't like babe, but I feel like you have to really know me. I have to be your babe. You can't just call me babe on date one. Do you not like confident women? I love confident women. But it's apparently not. But if someone says to me that they're close to perfect, then that's almost a bit arrogant, isn't it? How do you think the date's going so far? I think it's going all right. You're quite a, a hard shell, but I think it's all just needs to be... I just think you're a bit soft inside, but because of what you've been through... What have I been through then, since you can well, read me so well? well. What you, said, you said that men, like, um, you're fed up of men, didn't you, at the beginning? Yeah. Right. Not so, men as a whole, though, just certain men that So being fed up of men is going to make you have a harder shell, isn't it? Possibly. So I think you're really soft and cute inside. I think oh. you're like a little marshmallow. Do you know what? I think I've started to soften her up, you know. I like, I like. You see how she started? To, she started off hard, but you see when you start talking and she starts smiling, I'm smiling with her. I know she likes my smile. I've got a nice little smile. She's smiling back. We're like, <laughs> kiki ki. It's good. I'm loving it. Yes. Oh, but you're close to perfect looking though, aren't Listen. you? Listen! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I love personality. So do I. Really? After a while, yes. So what if someone was like, if you went with someone, she was really, really ugly, hideous, didn't want to be seen with her, mm -hmm. but she had a nice personality, you would choose her? No. So you've got the wrong card. Because after a while, personality, there has to be a balance. Because the first thing you're going to see from a person is his physical. You don't know someone from some, nowhere, do you? So you have to be attracted to something that comes towards you first and then the personality kicks in, but that overrides everything, doesn't it, darling? It does. It's so darling, it's got, okay. Is it babe or darling, which one? I, I called you everything. I could call you cutie next, because I no. think I call you all the things that are nice because that's what you are. That's very kind of you. I started taking it easy on him simply because I, I really respected his honesty. He seemed sweet. He did try and make me laugh a couple of times and was successful at it. So that's when I started being a bit nicer. No, all good answer. Mm -hmm. What if I stuck with like a hundred men? Depends on what area they're in. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from South London. 
All of that doesn't matter anymore. If I was maybe, I'll say early 20s, teenage, maybe I would be a bit immature and be like, nah, she can't do all that. But you see, after a while, who cares? Have you ever not rated someone because of their body count when you were younger? Have you ever been that shallow? Yeah, because you just, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm talking from an immature man's, mandem point of view. When you look at a woman that's had a body uh, count from a young perspective, you're thinking she's a hoe. That's what you're thinking, she's just a beat. But then after a while, as things mature, she's grown up and stuff like that, that's her past. She could have changed, just like how I could have changed. You can't judge someone from their what past. What did you used to sleep about? No. Changed from being, changed? I've changed from being an immature man and looking at women in a certain light as to being a mature man and accepting a woman for who she is now without judging. So you're grown? <laughs> I would like to think so, yes, darling. So you're an alpha? What is an alpha? You tell me. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Are you an alpha? I'm actually an alpha female. What makes you an alpha female? Um, I'm very opinionated, yeah. but not in a negative way. I'm quite, I'm confident, mm -hmm. as you know, so mm -hmm. you keep calling me arrogant. Oh, I keep calling you arrogant, yeah, oh God. You do. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I find men can't handle me. Can you really? handle me? Do you think you can? I love a woman that makes decisions because, like I said, I don't judge. I make a woman play her role, whatever role it is, if she wants to be an alpha female. Be an alpha female, so you're but yes just respect, no, just respect who I am as well. And if you want to argue with me, I don't argue. That's good, you're not I don't argue. No, I, I sort things out in conversation wise, like how we're talking now. We can sort that out without arguing, can't yes. now. Why do we have to get angry? I like to go to bed with a woman without arguing. Like, I don't want to be angry and have to go to sleep and wake up the next morning angry. Yeah. Sort it out. It's reasonable. Would you say you're a reasonable man? I would love to think so, yes. What's that? What's it's that mean? When someone's either playing with your bum or you're playing with someone else's ass. So take out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like booty playing? With you touching my booty, ain't not no go on in my body. No, <laughs> sir. Don't mind my being played with. You like yours being played with. Don't mind it. You freak. Look at you. You're so naughty. <laughs> no, why? Do you want me to be naughty? Want, of course. I like a naughty girl in the bedroom. I thought you said you wanted a nice woman. No, nice woman. What did I say? Lady in the street and a freak in the bed? That's why not. Even a freak on the street, but just, just, just quietly. The balance. Behind a dustbin or something. <laughs> no! <clears throat> I really? feel... Honestly, I feel that certain things in life you need to have for you. You can't know everything about me. I can't know everything about you. I but can't. Do you not think though, like as certain... partners, you would know everything about them? No, but there's vi there's certain things like past and certain things you just don't want to discuss with anyone. So you've got don't you think? To hide. Not that. It's just that I feel like no one in this world can know you fully, can they? No, no, I get that fully. But so that's what but, I'm saying. So. For me, and I feel like the way I would like to date, like the partner, the person that I'm with, I want them to know everything about me, like what hurts me, what makes me happy. I want them to know every That's detail. Different. So I feel like not having phone password, I feel like it's shady. We're talking about deepness, though. If I was with you, if and even if there was a little bit of doubt, just because of your own insecurity, not my actions, and I left my phone on the table, would you not try and pick it up and look through it? I wouldn't. I'm sure. No. Because I, why, why am I with you if I do not trust you? Hmm? Why are you with me if you don't trust me? All of that stuff, that's when it starts getting complicated. Yeah, would you say you're an honest man? I would say I'm honest. If you ask me... So if I ask to go through your phone? Then I will give you my phone. But I don't think that then. you should... Huh? Oh, you've well, lost my, it, my, yeah? <laughs> well, so you lost it, yeah? <laughs> Oh, he was quick now. No, no. I so you're she, not selling dreams? Like do you know what? Men? I refuse. I refuse to sell dreams. But one thing I don't like doing to a woman is lying and then making her feel hurt inside and making her cry and stuff. I don't like to see tears from a woman. Hence why I don't like arguing and I like to sort things out. I just want everything to be cool. I would refuse to tell a woman something that's not true. That's nice. Mm. <laughs> you know that's red wine, right? It would depend on the relationship. So you do or you don't? Sorry, I wanna. Depends on how clean you are.
So you do or you don't? I've got to do the finger test. Of course test. she's clean. Can I do the finger test first? What's the finger test? Do you not think women do that? <laughs> <laughs> so if, oh, do women do that as well? Of course you do. You do snip, pull it back, snip. I'm, I'm circumcised, by the way. But do you like... Maybe like, we'll go in the toilet just to check in it before. Oh, you wipe your... You, you rub finger, your pom pom and you smell yourself. So why... Give it a little lick. Really? <laughs> you dirty little guy. You're naughty. I love this. First <laughs> date. <laughs> That was lethal, blood. Why are you doing that? Why are you asking me for something pussy? <laughs> so at what point in the relationship do you, you think? Yep. Yeah. Depends on how depends on how interesting. Okay, so it's on your terms. Yeah, which is in a way, not it's not really on my terms, but in a way, isn't that good for you to know that I just don't yam any <laughs> out there? Yeah, but if you're only dating one person. Hence why it takes a while, doesn't it, to like, you know, get to get really so you, comfortable with a so girl. So would you feel comfortable if a woman didn't want to suck dick for a very long time? Oh, so you don't like it when it's the way around, wait. no? You haven't let me answer. Right, now, if a woman doesn't want, my su want to suck my that's understandable. Why? Why is it understandable? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know how you wanted well, to do that revenge thing you had earlier? <laughs> and you were just like, oh, get her back. What if she wants to do that pettiness as well? Like... He's not gonna go down on me, so why should I suck his You be you. If you like to suck and why take is this it about down. Me? No, I'm saying I'm just general. If you like to take it in your throat and you like to choke, then you do you. Do I look like I like to take it in my throat? I don't know what you like to do. The way you answer these scenarios will determine the way I rate you. Oh wow, mm -hmm. so I get ratings. What would you do if I tell you your dad is hitting on me? Oh, I'll ask you, how do you feel about it? I'm more attentive to you and what you feel like. That's really sweet. So if you tell me it's really pissing you off, then I'll have a word with my dad. I'll say, how dare you? Really? Of course. So you'd argue with your dad? Of course, I'll say, how dare you? As long as you're not happy, I'm not happy. Okay. What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? Hmm, good question. It depends on how dirty it is, just, princess. Just the odd nude. People can see me naked. Naked? Fully mm -hmm. naked? Yeah. Oh, no. That can't. That can't why run. Why not? Do you know why it can't run? Why? Because everyone knows what your pom pom looks like. But what if you were broke, you had no money, and I had to have an OnlyFans to hold us down? Gonna have to shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to shut oh. up. I'm a waste man. I'm a waste man. Go on, babe, do your thing. Yes no, to I'm... an OnlyFans then. If I'm a waste man, yes. If I'm earning so my you're not stuff. Waste man. No. <laughs> what would you do if your team is playing in the Champions League and I'm in Labour? Labour's <laughs> first. Oh. See? Ain't nothing bigger than new birth, your baby mums having your child. How dare you be so selfish to watch Champions League? How dare you? Off with his head! <laughs> what would you do if I <laughs> farted in bed? That shit don't bother me. What if I done a really smelly fart? Do you know what? You actually farting is actually a good thing. Right. Because I like a it's woman... Fine, turn you on. No, but I actually like a woman to just be her. If you want to fart, hold, fart. You know when your woman hold it in and your belly's like, ah, oh, belly oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> and then you end up. Are you talking about farting in your sleep or just this farting in general? Yeah, I knew you. I'm fully awake. Because this is what happens. You. I'll joke it off with you, as long as you let me fart on you. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if we were together and I didn't like your mother? Ooh. Mm. Ouch. Mumsy just had it in for me. They say mama not always knows best, but sometimes, yeah, but some, sometimes, sometimes you get some other mothers that exactly. like to make it difficult. Is your mum like that? A hundred percent. No, she's not. That's good. My mum tends to be very liberal, so she tends to accept a lot of people. If she doesn't like you, then it will have to be a big reason. However, I feel like being the person I am, I've got my mum's personality, we tend to can sort things out anyway. If you didn't get on with her, then I guarantee you probably it will end up getting on with her. If you have to choose, either like, it's hella toxic, you're already in love, we have really crazy sex, like, you think it's done deal marriage, like wifey material, mm -hmm. but your mum don't like me. Or are you gonna pack your bags and leave with me, never speak to your family again, or are you gonna choose your family? Ooh, never speak to, speak to mm -hmm. my family again. Yeah, oh, wow. hella toxic in that. It's, it's like, babe, we've gotta go, I can't take this oh, anymore. Wow, that's a hard question, go. darling. I'm a grown man. And I feel that I should be able to love who I want to love. 
and be who, with who I want to be with. So who are you choosing? However, if I have to leave my whole family and never speak to them again, I'm sorry, babe. Would you give up your mum for a man? No. There you I go. I would not. Exactly. So you have to rate what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, how mm -hmm. do you think the date went? Do you know what? I think you grilled me, but I think I handled myself. Yeah? Do you think and you can handle me? 100%. Do you know what? The date went better than I expected. I thought he was going to have just some awful answers. You know what? I think the date went amazing. So I'll be surprised to see if he thinks I'm, like, stuck up, because I was a bit harsh on him, so maybe he thinks I'm a bitch. I like her. Like, a smile. Bit disappointed about the whole bokep thing. Like, I didn't get to see the real, real her, but I knew that there was a show that just needs a bit of cracking. It's weird. We were actually quite compatible. I'm quite surprised. If I was a girl sitting in her position, long hair, tits out, I would ask the same thing. City like tucking pussy. <laughs> Realistically, probably seven. Seven? I don't know. It depends on her, but. I know I did my job. I answered all the questions fine, but I think she'll probably give me about a seven. I'm going to give him a seven because I feel like the chat was good. He was really calm, he was really nice, and he was really honest. Like, they're all qualities that women look for in men, especially me.